Well, a uh, local horse rescue is holding its big fundraiser coming up. And Cody likes an excuse to wear a Western shirt. Sometimes he doesn't even need one, but this morning he has a great one because he is in Pilot Hill decked out to the nines. Oh my goodness. We are all about equine uh, here in Pilot Hill. This facility is so impressive. I've got to tell you, I am uh, like jaw dropped. I, the, the amount of care that you guys do for these horses is unbelievable. Uh, Elisa and uh, Dana, thank you very much for having us out this morning. Um, let's talk a little bit about what you guys do. So our mission is to rescue horses, rehab them, get them where they need to be so that they can move to their forever home and be loved by humans as they should be. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. Um, uh, these horses come in here sometimes and they're just, they're not doing great. They, they've been neglected, they've been abused. And then by the time you guys adopt them out, they're healthy, they're happy. That must be the most fulfilling thing in the face of the earth. It is completely rewarding to see the transformation these horses come in um, underweight, untrusting of humans, and then to get them, you know, to where they're healthy, they're happy, they're well adjusted to us, and see them go home with their person is <laughs> <laughs> what makes this so amazing for the volunteers that work here. I, I think it's, uh, yeah, I can totally tell. And you were telling me earlier, like, when they get adopted out, there's big tears, Dana. There's big tears. Yes. Um, a lot of the volunteers that come in really care about horses. They care about our mission. And they get really attached to the horses. It's something that they care deeply about. And when a horse goes out, we're so attached to them that we don't want them to leave, but we do want them to leave. Yeah, because that's the goal, right? Yeah, that's the goal. So it's kind of a catch-22, but we're so happy when they leave, especially when they find a really beautiful adoptive home, and that's a home that they're going to have a permanent care and a permanent place. You guys are angels. I'm telling you, you're angels. Okay, uh, what can we do to help you? You got a lot of people watching right now. What can we do to help you? What do you need? Well, we love community support. We need volunteers always. Uh, we have a big event coming up on the 28th called Boots and Bling. Mm -hmm. It's a fun night, dinner, dancing, a few drinks, a live and silent auction. Um, tickets are available still. They're available on our website, allaboutequine.org. And we would love to see you there, all in support of the animals we love most. It, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. So we need some help. We need yeah. some help. Uh, we're going to tell you about uh, volunteer opportunities here coming up this morning. We're going to meet the horses and talk about their stories. Uh, there might be some tears on that, too. Uh, but you guys are doing amazing work out here. Okay. Amazing. Thank all right. You. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, those beautiful animals out there, too. Thank you, Code. All right, put on your boots in bling because a local horse rescue is putting on a big fundraiser. Cody's caravan is in Pilot Hill this morning, getting all the details on the event and more importantly, getting some love from these beautiful horses. Hi, Cody. Absolutely. I'm telling you, if you need to get your soul back, this is the place to be. All about equine. All these magnificent creatures out here. Not just horses, though. We're finding out there's all sorts of creatures out here. Elisa, who is this you got with you? So this is Jelly Roll. He of is named is. after Jelly Roll, the country music star. <laughs> he's so cute. He is a volunteer favorite here for sure. I bet. Now, he's a what? He's a miniature mule. Miniature mule. Yes. Oh, okay. So he's a cross between a donkey and a horse. Okay. In mini size. In mini size. <laughs> Although that's pretty big. Yes. <laughs> that's pretty big. Yes. Uh, there is a theme here on the property. The animals are named after country stuff. Yes, we've been naming, uh, renaming the horses um, after country music artists. So we have our Hank Williams. We have our <laughs> Dirk Bentley is his name. Um, we have, who else? Stetson. We have Stetson. Outlaw. 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 Okay. Um, anything we can find country music related that fits a horse, we really like to pick that for them. And we try and match them with uh, the temperament or uh, personality of the music star, I would say. And and about how many horses are we talking about here? Because that's a lot of country names. Yes, we have about 50 horses and we have been doing this for many years. So <laughs> um, we've gone through many of the favorites for sure. Um, but it's always fun to, to get them that name and, and get to know their personalities when they come in. Yeah, we've rescued 421 horses over the years, wow. 127 farm animals, and we've adopted out about 85% of those horses that we brought in. That's amazing. Yeah, it's great. Um, great work by all the volunteers and dedicated work um, vetting 
people that want to have a horse, making sure that the horse that goes to them is the proper horse for them. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned volunteers. Yes. You guys are looking for volunteers. What, what do people need to do? So on our website, you can uh, contact us and submit a request to be a volunteer. We'll ask you to come through an orientation. It's roughly about two hours on a Saturday or a Sunday. It, a little crash course on all things all about equine and a safety and a horse handling um, orientation and then after that you can come and volunteer as much as you'd like yeah. hopefully all the time all the time yeah, yeah all the time i i want to spend all the time out here <laughs> uh coming up in the 10 o'clock hour we're going to introduce you to some of the other animals that are in here that you'd be a little surprised at a, at a equine facility but uh, and we'll show you around the uh, the facility as well and then we'll tell you more about this big event they got coming up but uh, 10 o'clock hour we'll introduce you to Different animals out here, which should be fun. Okay. Back to you guys. Different animals. We okay. like that. Thanks, Make so. a code. I am telling you, you guys are stuck in the studio with the teleprompter and weird smells. I am out here having the best time ever all about equine. This facility is amazing and you guys are doing amazing work, but it's it's a very expensive property. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, a proposition to do. Absolutely. It does take a lot of community support and, and community donations to help support our mission, which is essentially to rescue rehab and rehome horses um, and other animals um, as needed. And um, it is our greatest pleasure. We could use help, of course, mm -hmm. always. Um, if you're interested in volunteering, please join us at allaboutequine.org. There's a little form you can fill out to come join a, a, our next horse handling orientation. I am so in, sister. <laughs> I am so in. Uh, you get a big event coming up. We do. And that helps raise some funds for this. Yes, yes. we have an event called Boost and Bling. It will be next Saturday, the 28th. There are a few tickets available. We would love to have everyone out there. Um, there's dancing, dinner, uh, live and silent auctions, all kinds of fun, all for the horses that we love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so who is this that we're hanging out with right now? So this is Finnegan. He's a resident with us. He's a very gentle horse and, and is a good um person for or person he's a good <laughs> horse for orientation and our programs um he's a little hungry so we got him a little snack yeah. um for breakfast here but he's been with us about 10 years now he, he is beautiful i said he looked like chris helmsworth yeah maybe a little justin bieber here too. <laughs> absolutely and he knows it too he <laughs> absolutely really? knows it <laughs> um i i keep harping on this but the transformation that some of these horses go through, and, and sometimes, like, no fault of their own or the owners, something happens, and, and horses are very expensive. Sometimes they can't keep up with them, and, and you guys bring them in. Sometimes they're not in great shape, and then they end up like this. Absolutely, yeah. We, we have horses that come from all different backgrounds um, that really need our help, and, and we're happy to bring them in and, and get them rehabbed and get them the care that they need, get their teeth done, get their feet trimmed um, and all the vaccines necessary so that we can get them ready for their for their loving forever home. It must be so fulfilling to watch. I mean, I know it's sad when they leave, but Absolutely. it's got to just <laughs> fill your heart up to, to know that you've rescued this beautiful creature. Absolutely. It, it's very bittersweet. The, the purpose here is to get them their forever home, um, but we tear up a little bit as they walk out the door, walk out, trailer out the door i should say <laughs> oh it's so sweet uh coming up in the 10 o'clock hour they're not just horses here there's other interesting creatures 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 so we're going to show those to you coming up back to you guys very cool how good looking is this dude that is a good handsome horse right there uh thank you coach appreciate it spending the morning and all about equine this morning but it's not all about equines there's actually other animals out here at the property absolutely we have our pig oscar and we have our three lovely goats we have rebel kicker and scooby who are enjoying their morning breakfast it's the best part of their day uh-huh <laughs> uh i covet that guy's beard that is so good that's so, i could never grow a beard that good how does how does farm animals uh, uh, get, uh, get hooked up with you guys here at the property? So we are in the process of building up a program so that we can uh, return to having children out and folks that um, would like to see our property and we want to have animals that we can have them come and visit and meet mm. and learn about. Um, so that's what Rebel 
Kicker and Scooby are here for, as well as Oscar. Um, that and to be loved on and doted on. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Uh, the our, our friend the pig over here. Yes. Uh, what's his name again? Oscar. Oscar. Well, it tells the story about how you guys got Oscar because it was it was kind of a happy accident. You had to go rescue some horses, and Oscar was on the property, so you're like, he can't stay there. Right. So Oscar and his friend Oliver ended up joining us here at All About Equine. They were um, significantly overweight. Um, and were struggling even at a walk. So we brought them in and they were able to see a vet and get their um, selves taken care of and then, um, of course, lose some weight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is this place to do it because a lot of land, you can walk around and get all right. that stuff done. Right. Um, you guys are looking for volunteers. Always. What do people need to do? Uh, no experience is necessary. If they can visit our website, allaboutequine.org, um, you can sign up to attend an orientation, which is held every other weekend. Um, and it's basically two hours of your time around some of these amazing animals where you'll learn about all about equine and, and horse handling 101, essentially. And then you can come out and volunteer. We have 14 shifts through the week. Oh, okay. Yeah, morning and afternoon. So there's plenty of opportunities. Plenty of need, yes. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I have had an absolute lovely time out here meeting all the pets and animals. Uh, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, both of you. Back to you guys thank in the you. studio. Thank you. Thanks, all right, thank Code. you, Code.